And then I started to venture to clown and clown really resonated with me. So uh, and I've heard a couple other indigenous artists say that as well, which was that it didn't feel like I needed to know all the classics or I needed to like understand this like rich European history of theater in order to access stories that I understood to be true. Because I wasn't seeing my, my mom or my brothers or myself in my, in my stories that I was playing around with in, in university that weren't in my books. Um, until I started to read things like, you know, uh, dry lips, auto move to this capus casing and, um, and having like started to venture off into working on some projects. I ended up on a must be Muskegee Musqua Square, which was a project put together by Old Earth Productions. And uh, I came on just as the, as sort of the go boy, as the guy that drove the truck and hauled out the set and made sure everybody got to the place on time. Um, but as I watched that show, I just, I saw my family on stage. It was about uh, intergenerational trauma. It was about the women's experiences of intergenerational trauma. And that's when I started to really, and then I started to find out there was a community of indigenous artists. And I was like, whoa, this is starting to make sense. So, so since then, um, my, my focus has been primarily on, um, you know, meeting people and then following through on seeing what they're working on. And it's been typically indigenous folks and just starting to piece together. I've run into relatives, I've run into all sorts of things across Alberta um, that has really cemented my, my connection to doing indigenous centric theater.